Welcome to a new video. Today we will be creating a Pomodoro timer, but not just any Pomodoro timer. We will be using Streamlit to build it. By the end of this video, you will have a working timer that you can use to manage your work sessions and breaks. Let's start by importing Streamlit and creating a simple app to show a title. I will also import time here because we are going to need it later on this video. We will say import Streamlit as ST and import time and let's just set the title as streamlit.title streamlit pomodoro timer here it is for running this and seeing it you need to save your file and write streamlit run app.py in the terminal i'm just going to show you how it will be displayed for the starting you can check your app like this when you are developing it but i'm not going to do that in this video i will just show now and i will show at the end so what we are going to do is we are going to open the terminal and we are going to say streamlit run app.py New page in my browser is opened and here it is. You can see our title streamlit pomodoro timer. Great. Let's create this timer. Here we are back in our coding. Now let's give users the ability to customize the time intervals for work sessions and breaks. We will create streamlit sliders for that. Let's start by creating the work time. It's going to be streamlit slider. We will say work time and let's say minutes. And we are going to say 5, 90 and 25. And here I'm going to say break time. We are going to say streamlit.slider break time. And let's say minutes. For this also we will say 1, 30 and 5. Okay, let's talk about them now. Here we have created two sliders. The first one sets the work time interval ranging from 5 to 90 minutes with a default of 25 minutes. The second slider sets the break time from 1 to 30 minutes with a default of 5 minutes. Now let's create the timer functionality. We will use Python's time module for this. So what we are going to do here is we are going to say define Pomodoro timer we will say work time and break time work seconds is going to be equal to the work time multiplied by 60 and we will say break seconds is going to be equal to the break time multiplied by 60 and now what we are going to do is we are going to use placeholder let's start with work time work placeholder is going to be equal to streamlot.empty and we are going to do the same for the break here, streamlit.empty. And now what we are going to do is work placeholder.write work. And we will say for i in range work seconds here, we will say time.sleep1 and we will say work placeholder.write. We are going to use f string here. We will say work seconds minus i seconds left. So let's talk about it. The work placeholder right work is in here doing the job that we are going to add a button like start the timer. Before that, it's going to show up in the screen. So the for loop is we are saying for i in range work seconds time slip one, which is one second. And we are writing that work seconds minus i seconds left. So you can think this like if work seconds is 100 and i is 10, it's going to say 90 seconds left. So we are going to do the same for the break. Break placeholder right, let's say break in here. And we will say for index in range break seconds. We will say time that sleep one seconds again and we will say break placeholder that write we are going to use an f string again break seconds i'm just going to select it here it is minus index seconds left also we don't need this space here i'm just going to quickly delete so here is our function let's talk about it this function takes in work time and break time in minutes, converts them to seconds and then counts down from those numbers. 
let's add a button to start the timer. When the user presses this button, the timer function we created will be called. So for that, we are going to say, let's say if streamlit.button and let's give the start timer name to our button and we will say Pomodoro timer work time and break time. Here it is. So let's talk about our final function. The streamlit.button function creates a button on the streamlit app. When this button is clicked, our Pomodoro timer function gets called with the work time and break time parameters. This is it, we have our app now. It's the final version. Let's test our app and then we are going to summarize what we did. For testing, I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to say streamlit run app.py. Here is our app. You can see our sliders are working smoothly and break time is working smoothly. Great. So let's just press this button here and it says work and it starts great. So we can make change like this when it's working and it's going to give answers to that and update the timer here. Great, it's working nicely. We can still change and check if it's working and everything seems great. Okay, that was all. So we are summing up. We imported Streamlit and time. We give a title to our app. Then we set the work time and break time. 5 to 90 with default 25, 1 to 30 with default 5 here. And then we define the function Pomodoro timer, which takes work time and break time as minutes. It's coming from here as minutes. Then it translates these times to the seconds. Then we set it placeholders here. Then here we created two loops. And then at the end we placed a button, a start timer, and it makes this function to work. That was all for this video. Thanks for watching. I create programming and data science content in my YouTube channel. You can subscribe for more of this. Have a great day.